imagination is the key And with Flexo you will see a flexillion possibilities Incredible Welcome along Flexo fam Christmas is coming up quick This week we're going to decorate our tree with Flexo by making a Christmas stocking This Christmas decoration hangs beautifully from your tree or anywhere else in the house you can make more than one in different colours or decorate them any way you like. To get started building, here are the parts that we're going to need. All of them are available on our website. You can choose any colours that you like. Here are the colours that we've used. Alright fam, let's get making. So we'll make our Christmas stocking in two halves, just as if you were stitching a real sock together. We'll use T3 tendons and create kind of a red brick mat. If at any point during the build you get confused about which tendon length we're using, just take a look in the top right hand corner of the screen. The token there will let you know. So as you build along, adding your squares and adding your T3s, don't forget to go back and fill in the gaps between them. We want this to be a nice sturdy stocking. At this point, I'm already starting to think about what I want inside my Christmas stocking on Christmas morning. Leave a comment down below and let us know what goodies you're hoping for on Christmas Day. We just keep repeating the pattern, adding a T3 and a square, and then a T3 and a square, and we're starting to make an L shape. Now you'll notice that we leave three corners without bricks. We'll add triangles there later, and that will give a lovely curved toe and heel to our stocking. Our Christmas stocking is trimmed with white bricks at the top and we're using white tendons as well. And here we are filling in the toe and heel with the triangle bricks. Now without showing you all of the labour, here is what it should look like when you're finished. A T19 tendon at the top and then T5 tendons all the rest of the way around. Now we're going to add our Flexo domes. There's nothing complicated about this, depending on which pattern you choose to do. We've gone for a pretty simple white outline and then we'll fill in the middle with red domes. So on this first half of our stocking, we can completely cover it in domes. But on our second half, which we'll build in a moment, you'll see that we'll leave some space. Here we are beginning to build our second half. And in this particular case, you want to make sure that you're building the mirror image of the one that you just made. So we'll just skip through this a little bit faster since you've got the general idea already but you'll see here that our stocking is facing the opposite direction this time. The toe is pointing towards the left.
we're going to trim it with white and add our triangles for the heel and toe. And then you'll see what I mean about the dome pattern in just a moment. A T19 tendon at the top. This will become more important later on. And then as we add our domes here, you'll see we've actually left the outside edges free. And that's because we're about to attach the two halves together. So, taking your first half and turning it upside down, you can lay them back to back. Now we're using our Flexo 180 degree bend technique. Here's a great example where you just use your thumbnail or multi-tool to guide the tendon up and into place and then immediately seal it off. In this case, we're using our domes, but if you're not using domes, you'll be wanting to seal it off with a brick right away. So we're just gonna continue around the outside edge now. Lifting that tendon up and into place, binding the two halves together, and then locking it off with domes. There we are. So we're just about finished, but we want to make sure that we can hang the stocking. We'll use a triangle brick between the two T19 tendons that we've inserted earlier, and we'll just add a few decorative domes. And there is our beautiful Christmas stocking, ready to be hung on the tree and receive gifts on Christmas morning. Fam, I hope this gets you in the mood for Christmas. We've got some more exciting Christmas builds coming and more ways that you can decorate your home with Flexo. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell. Every week we're coming out with a brand new video. That's all for now. Keep up with your imaginations, and we'll see you next week.